for a very, very long time in my life. I have bright red hair. I was born vegan, South African, with no religion. I feel like I was the strangest kid in my small town, and I tried really hard to fit in for a long time and hide the things that made me different. And the minute, I'm not kidding, the minute that I started embracing exactly who I was, I was 100% happier than who I was. I was really pushing my real self down. So that would be what I tell myself, is just be you, girl. I love it. I started this show, I never wore red lipstick by the way. I was like afraid of the color red and orange. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and then I, I booked the show and it's funny because I feel like, I feel like getting in the spotlight has actually made me more confident because I have a group of people who support me in any light and I feel like that's a really beautiful thing to have. So my mantra in the beginning was just keep swimming because I literally had no idea what I was doing. And I'm sort of figuring it out. Camilla was about to start singing Kiki, do you love me? Do you love me? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I love it. Camilla, how do you use your platform? <laughs> Wait, so then those are the feet. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> All of the oh, look at this outfit. Where do we find her? Damn. Good girl. Damn, Olive. Yeah, look at this little bra on you. Good girl. Good girl, Olive. She didn't mind it either. Are you being a good girl for mommy with your little hula skirt? <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow, baby. With that caption, I was, I blown away. I loved that. We all got on the group text. We were like, oh my God, that was so cool. So in awe of that moment. I knew they were shooting a cover of W. I did not know it was going to go in that direction. And I mean, that shoot was probably one of the coolest shoots I've ever seen. And then with that caption, I was, I blown away. I loved that. We all got on the group text. We were like, oh my God, that was so cool. I learned so much from him. And he always has his line memorized before he comes to set. He doesn't bring his sides on set. Um, he's fantastic and I love him so much. So I'm excited to see him again. Graceful life. Love it. And all that jazz She's gonna go pee now And then she'll be out soon <laughs> Okay, yeah This is like probably the coolest location I've ever been on for a photo shoot <laughs> What room in the house tour next? The Yak Zone Welcome to my crib He stayed your tiny tootie Say. Okay, go change. The miniature the wardrobe are so sweet. Am I living my best life? Living your best life. Absolutely, I am. We're I'm living my best life right shoot. now. Look it. Oh. oh, wait, this would be a good. Okay, let's do it. Next shot. Bye, Nugget. Bye. 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 <laughs> That's me. Shocks. Great. I hope I don't have anything on my teeth. Hey, baby boy. Oh, yeah. and, and, and <laughs> He's like a little baby. <laughs> He's like a little baby. <laughs> it's a real fucking. You're so. I'm just like in love. You want to see this? And that's, that's a wrap. <laughs> wow! 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 It's literally in here. I'm Madeline Petch, and I play Cheryl Blossoms. <laughs> um, her world kind of shatters around her. Um, trouble causer, so I feel like people have a tendency not to believe her. Sharing so much information of recent events, family events that you'll have to watch to find out about. And then as time goes on, I realize that she's and my um, Raptors and I are definitely going to be bringing her down at some point. Cheryl's never really up to any good. <laughs> I'm always down for some for some good Josie Luffin. I mean, Ashley's beautiful, and I think there's not a lot of representation of bisexual characters on television, so I'm happy to be able to join the gang. Love it. What else can you teach and tell us? There is more unexpected love interests where that came from. A few words, how would you describe those relationships? We'll see. Exciting, <laughs> lovely, and happy. I love that. Hey guys, bump went away fast. Hi guys, today we're gonna do a, of a Nike check. You know, the, the logo, but we're gonna dance to music because it's what we do. Cool and fun to be a fish. <laughs> and we're gonna keep dancing to the music. Drop a actor's use. Great. Mo touch of flower. You know, you, when you get your board and you're making- How incredible does it feel to be on season two of Riverdale? It has been such a success season one and season two is even bigger, it seems. Thanks. Uh, it's kind of a whirlwind. I kind of just try to keep my head down and focus on the work and make sure that I'm still putting out work that I'm proud of and kind of ignore all the external factors that are going on around me. But I'm really proud of the work I'm doing, which is all that I care about. Well, because she's got so much going on, it's really enriching as an actor.
Don't sell yourself short because they, <laughs> there are words on a page, but it's all. Your mother, and you're gonna see um, a love interest. Oh, Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> So I'd love to know, what was your- Hi guys, it's Madeleine, and welcome to another holiday themed video. Today is a little more stressful than I would like. Thank God for free next day shipping because my Best Buy box just arrived. Let's open it. Thank God's present is complete. Make a little bit more room for this one. Yikes. My little Olive is just sleeping right next to the camera. She's so cute. Wow, I am so happy I got all of that done. I've been a little bit stressed about the holiday season. This is actually the first time in my life I've ever been able to get the people in my life real presents. Oh, you me. I'm just a puppy and my life is so hard, huh? Your life is so hard, huh? Don't worry, I got you some new toys too. I can. Did you need to do your lips? No. That's like, no. <laughs> I'm gonna make some coffee in my espresso machine with my left hand. I think my espresso machine is broken, so I order coffee. Another can't hold my pen with my left hand. <laughs> this is like literally a different language. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the big reveal? Drum roll, please. <laughs> That's like what I see from back here. <laughs> okay, well, it turns out this is something that I should work on when I'm, I have a two week quarantine coming back up in Vancouver. It's for a danger element in this video, because you know, there's like four components in every good video. One of them, the little scary with my left hand. Oh, last day field. I held a baby for the first time today have a scene with the babies. And we use real babies on the show. And um, I'm awkward though. So that was my first time holding a baby. Very cute, both natural redheads. If you haven't eaten in a little bit, go grab yourself a snack and we can have a little meal break together. Mmm. These burritos slap. Sorry, I just got a really exciting text message, but I can't share it with you. I was just in the phone with my mom for like an hour while I was getting ready. Do you ever? Hi, Stinky. Yes? Are you making sure that I know that you exist? Who's not interested? Hi, Teen Vogue. I'm Madeleine Petch, and today I'm going to share with you some of my firsts. It's really hard to make $17.99 for my parents. I gave them a massage, like my mom back massages and stuff to make the money. I remember it so well. I wanted it before this trip, actually. What was her first album? It had Jeannie in a bottle in it. It was, wow, and it came out 20 years ago. We were just talking about Because I know that's the next question. Because I already did it for the rap party of season one of Riverdale in front of all of the crew and cast, and I embarrassed the hell out of myself. So we're just not going to do it again. It was an AOL Instant Messenger, and it was Froggy Friend 184. What? I was so awkward. I probably was more nervous than they were because I didn't even know what to do, but it, I think it was cute and I'm sure they know who they are. It was, I was such a weirdo when that happened, but 